Hey, this is Lee Waller. Welcome to this tutorial in Premiere Pro. Today, I'm going to look at exporting multiple sequences using Adobe Media Encoder. You can see here that I have two sequences that I have edited some clips together. I'm going to set up a queue and export both of these out using Adobe Media Encoder. To do that, select one of the sequences and using the shortcut key, Command M or Control M, you can open up the export settings there and send that straight to Q. That's going to open up Adobe Media Encoder. And once it opens, that sequence is loaded into the Q. I can jump back to Premiere, jump over to my next sequence, do the same thing. And if that shortcut key is not working for you, go up to File, Export Media. That'll do the same thing. And then send that one to the Q. You can continue to load sequences, and once you're done, all of the sequences will be loaded here ready to go. We do have a few settings we need to take a look at. I want to upload these to YouTube. YouTube suggests that you use an H.264, and that format is right there. So I'm going to select that, and Adobe has set up a number of different presets based on the different social media outlets and their recommendations. So you can see here there's Facebook. There's Twitter, Vimeo, and here's YouTube. So I'm going to make sure that that YouTube 1080p Full HD is selected because these sequences are 1080p. And the next thing I need to check is where I want this to save on my computer so I can then upload it. So I'm going to go to Desktop. I'm going to make sure that it's labeled the way I want it to be, and then I'm going to hit Save. I'm going to do that for the next one, H.264. Do need to change this preset here. Drop down to 1080p Full HD and then check that. Yes, it's on my desktop and there's basketball.mp4. Once I have all of that set up, I'm ready to start the queue. Come over here to the green arrow and start queue. The nice thing about it is it will show you a progress down here, giving you an estimated remaining time and you can see the progress as it moves through. Depending on your computer, depending on the sequence, uh, a number of things like that, uh, this will take a certain amount of time. As you watch your renders, you'll see them finish up, and Adobe will let you know by a check mark right here that those are done. We can always go take a look at them once they're finished by clicking here or navigating in Finder or Explorer. I'm just going to click right here. shows me that first one. I can double-click on it. It'll open up, and I can play that. For more on Adobe After Effects and Adobe Premiere, check out my other tutorials.